It was front page news all over the world today. John Wayne was dead. In Tokyo, the headline read, Mr. America passes on. In Lima, Peru, it said, goodbye, cowboy. Wayne died yesterday in Los Angeles at the age of 72, losing his long fight with cancer. President Carter paid tribute to him as the genuine article in an age of few heroes. He was a symbol, said the president, of many of the most basic qualities that made America great. David Browning takes a look at Wayne's long career. If you were a youngster watching the Saturday matinees back in the early 30s, chances are one of your heroes was a young man named Marion Michael Morrison. I've got to take that chance. We can't let those trains crash. His family had moved out west from Iowa, and after an unremarkable football career at USC, he drifted into the movies and changed the name Marion Morrison into something a little flashier. For over 10 years, he chased the bad guys in B-movies and C-serials. Until 1939, when director John Ford picked Wayne over Gary Cooper for a western called Stagecoach. And John Wayne, B actor, became John Wayne, superstar. Hey, look, it's Ringo. Hello, Curly. Hi, uh, Buck. Even then, critics couldn't quite figure Wayne out. His acting was nothing special. Some said it was nothing at all. But when John Wayne threw all six feet four of himself into battle, doing many of his own stunts, audiences loved it. From stagecoach to the sands of Iwo Jima, he was America's number one hero. Hang on! I guess I'm the only fellow in Hollywood who never had a part where he wasn't on a horse, a tank, or a ship. I've been in more battles than Napoleon, more wars than Germany, and I've captured Batan, Corregidor, Fort Apache, and... Maureen O'Hara. The capture of Maureen O'Hara was accomplished without benefit of tanks or ships in The Quiet Man, Wayne playing a retired American boxer in Ireland with definitely macho ideas about courtship. <laughs> There'll be no locks or bolts between us, Mary Kate, except those in your own mercenary little heart. Looking back 20 years later, Wayne lamented the passing of his romantic days. As I stopped getting the girl about 10 years ago. Which is just as well. Because I'd have forgotten what we wanted her for. Off screen, Wayne was a vocal defender of patriotism and conservative politics, though he resented being painted as a right-wing reactionary. He was a hawk on Vietnam, making a movie about it, touring the battlefields and arguing that wars should be fought to be won. The Lampoon, Harvard's humor magazine, challenged him to appear on campus to face young critics. He rode in on a tank, took a few snowballs, but politics aside, charmed most everybody. You look at yourself as the fulfillment of the American dream. <laughs> I don't look at myself any more than I have to. <laughs> By then, he was in his 60s, a time when many stars have to hang it up. He'd gone through some 200 pictures, three marriages, and lost a lung to cancer, but he wasn't ready to quit movies. They tell me you're a man with true grit. True grit truly surprised many critics and moviegoers. It seemed to be John Wayne doing a skillful parody of John Wayne. I call that bold talk for a one-eyed fat man. Fill your hand, you son of a bitch. Whatever it was, one reviewer called it the true climax of a great and well-loved career. And it won Wayne an Oscar for Best Actor. On screen, John Wayne thumbed his nose at death many times. And in his last years, in and out of the hospital for a variety of serious ailments, off screen too, he was defiant to the end. The 1979 Oscar ceremonies. After open heart surgery, cancer, removal of his stomach, John Wayne was honored by a Hollywood that knew it would probably never see his likes again. Oscar first came to the Hollywood scene in 1928. So did I. We're both a little weather beaten, but we're still here and plan to be around for a whole lot longer. Well, come see a fat old man sometime. Yeah!
Wayne had long ago picked his epitaph, the Spanish phrase, feo, fuerte y formal. He was ugly, he was strong, he had dignity. David Browning, CBS News, Hollywood. CBS News will present a special broadcast on the life of John Wayne tonight at 8, 7 central time.